right, so while I was in San Diego over the weekend, uh, Alex actually was on a dog rescue mission. She drove down to JFK in New York on Saturday um, with our friend Michael, and, and she picked up a little pup from Haiti called Pika. The story of Pika is when, when I went down to Desab, Haiti to do a film uh, with High Tide Adventure and Cliff Bar last December, I, I was in this village for a few days and this, this little cute pup was just following me everywhere. She was my little shadow. Okay, right, you're my favorite. There's, there's three of you out there, but you're the best. Okay? And I felt so bad leaving her there. I tried to get her out, but there wasn't enough time to figure out like everything we needed to do, uh, you know, vet-wise, vaccination, all the transport rules, get the carriers down there, everything. So uh, now, almost a year later. Pika is here. When Bethany, who is the uh, the founder of High Tide Adventure, she went back down to Desab a couple months ago and she saw Pika. She sent Alex and I a uh, photo of Pika and she looked really skinny, not so good. And we had to do something. So Alex got involved with the Haiti Street Dog Project and um, set her sights on Pika becoming the first transport out of Haiti to test an adoption program for the street dogs of Haiti. So now after months of talking to different airlines and customs and with the help of my friend Fennell who is the principal down in Desab who actually was able to locate Pika and get her all the way to Diane who is down in Haiti with the, the street dog project and Diane opened up her home and her heart to Pika and worked with Alex to coordinate the transport and, and she made it and, and so now she's here. Pika. Hi. So now I'm walking upstairs to see her for the first time since being in Desab last December. I'm so excited. sitting here in my living room and our friend Michael right there is uh, is Pika's new dad. And you thinking your new home. Yeah. <laughs> 